All right, what I've got here, you can see on the projector, what I've got is uh, just a uh, baking dish full of water. I'm projecting this up here because you'll be able to see some of what's going on on the screen, but also here. And I'm going to um, get some of my indicator and pour it into the water. The indicator, remember, changes color with changing pH. So I'm going to pour some of that indicator in there and mix it up. So this is neutral, and therefore the color of a pH neutral is kind of a blue color. So you can see that projected up here. We get a blue color. Now to that, I'm going to add some sodium hydroxide, which is a very strong base, and it comes in sort of solid pellet form. And I'm just going to get three of them, and we'll add them in here. Okay, and you should begin to see a color change happening until I stir it up. And when I stir it up, you'll really see a color change. Okay, so we're already we've got evidence, pretty strong evidence of a chemical change because we've got a pretty strong color change right there. So purple indicates a strong base. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is get a, a, a junky beaker, and uh, this is one I can dispose. Afterwards, it's dirty, and I'm going to add some sugar, regular old sucrose, C12, H22O11. And let's get about, oh, that might be too much. More is usually better, but not always. Let's, let's go with that. I'm going to put this right here, and to that, I'm going to add some 18 molar sulfuric acid. This is as concentrated as you can get, I can get. Uh, this will... Um, denature proteins. You ever cook an egg, it turns from clear to white. That's denature proteins. Do the same thing to your eyes. That's where we why, why we wear goggles, which of course I don't have. Um, here we go. All right. So I'm going to add that to the sugar, and we should get what's called a dehydration reaction. What does that sound like is going to happen in dehydration? Water will. Yeah, water is a product in a dehydration reaction. So I've added that. I'm going to stir it up a little bit, okay? uh, mix those ingredients uh, a little better, and now you're already beginning to see a color change. What are you seeing? Like yeah, bright yellow. Now, <laughs> the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to containerize some of the fumes that are given off by putting this little, this big beaker over the top, and I want us to kind of keep an eye on what's happening. What, what do you see happening? More of a color change, so evidence of a chemical change. Now keep your eye on it. Okay. <laughs> What are you seeing? Black. Yeah, it's getting black. Oh. Happening. Keep your eye on it. Don't take your eye off. Okay. Once we reach a critical temperature, this reaction will really take off, and it'll happen quickly. So it needs to heat up. It is exothermic. There's your second evidence of chemical change. You've got a temperature change, and once it reaches a critical temperature, something. Interesting point. <laughs> but you're definitely seeing that color change, right? That sugar is no longer white. You added a clear. Ah, okay. What are you seeing now? The gas being evolved. What else are you seeing? Yeah, what's happening on the inside? Correct. You all in the front might want to back up a little bit. What else, what else do you see? So, gas being evolved. Is there a new solid being produced? Yeah, we definitely got a black solid in here. Do you see anything else? Any other? Yeah, another color change. Look at our indicator. It was purple, and now it's bright yellow. Okay, so that indicates to me there's a pH change. That gas that's being given off, guys, quiet, please. The gas that's being given off is causing another chemical change, a pH change in that indicator. Okay? Now, if anybody cares to on the way out, touch this outer vessel right here, and you'll see it's quite hot. I don't even want to get close to touching that inner vessel because it's really strong, and I, I don't want to take the top off because that's sulfuric acid vapor that's irritating your lungs right now. Okay? So, on your way out, feel this. But, and we'll talk about the evidence for chemical change once we get back into the classroom. Okay? So head out.